Welcome to the History of Simple Things, where we delve into the fascinating history behind the little things that shape our world. Basketball. It's more than just a sport. It's a global phenomenon that has captured the hearts and minds of millions, from street courts to massive arenas. Its fast pace, dynamic moves, and electrifying moments make it one of the most thrilling games to watch and play. But where did it all begin? How did this beloved game, with its slam dunks, three-point shots, and buzzer beaters, come to life? To answer that, we need to travel back to the late 19th century, to a gym in Springfield, Massachusetts, where a simple game was born out of necessity, creativity, and the genius of one man, Dr. James Naismith. James Naismith, born on November 6, 1861 in Ontario, Canada, had no idea that he would one day create one of the most popular sports in the world. Growing up in Canada, Naismith loved physical activities and sports. He attended McGill University in Montreal, where he was active in athletics, participating in gymnastics, rugby, football, and lacrosse. After graduating with a degree in physical education, he continued his studies at the Presbyterian College of Theology, unsure of whether he wanted to pursue a career in ministry or physical education. But it was his love for sports that would ultimately guide his path. In 1891, Naismith was working as a physical education instructor at the International YMCA Training School in Springfield, Massachusetts. The winter that year was particularly harsh, and the school's students, who were used to playing outdoor sports like football and soccer, were getting restless. The director of the school, Dr. Luther Gulick, recognized the problem and tasked Naismith with creating a new indoor game that could keep the students active during the cold months. The game needed to be safe, simple, and not too physically demanding, as the indoor space limited the students' movement. Naismith had only 14 days to come up with something. As Naismith thought about the problem, he recalled a game he played as a child called Duck on a Rock. In this game, players would try to knock a stone off a larger rock by throwing smaller stones at it. Naismith was struck by the idea of combining elements of throwing with an objective that required both skill and precision. He wanted to create a game that relied on finesse rather than brute force, to avoid the roughness of football or rugby, which could lead to injuries in a confined indoor space. Naismith sat down to draft the first set of rules for his new game, eventually coming up with 13 basic rules. These rules laid the foundation for modern basketball. The goal of the game was simple. Throw a soccer ball into a peach basket that was nailed to the elevated running track on the gym's balcony. The height of the peach basket was about 10 feet, which has since become the standard height for modern basketball hoops. There were no dribbling or three-point shots in the original version. Players had to pass the ball to move it down the court, and once someone made a shot, the game would stop as someone climbed a ladder to retrieve the ball from the basket. On December 21, 1891, Naismith introduced the game to his students. He divided them into two teams of nine and explained the basic rules. The first game of basketball was chaotic. The students, used to playing rougher sports, tackled and shoved each other as they scrambled for the ball. Despite the disorder, Naismith's game worked. The students enjoyed the challenge of trying to throw the ball into the basket while avoiding their opponents. The game ended with a score of 1-0, but the excitement it generated was palpable. Basketball in its most primitive form had been born. Naismith's new game quickly gained popularity within the YMCA network as it was easy to play and didn't require expensive equipment. By 1892, the first public game of basketball was played at the YMCA in Springfield, and the sport's reach began to spread beyond the local area. As the game evolved, some of the original rules were adjusted. 
For instance, dribbling was introduced to allow players to advance the ball themselves, and metal hoops with nets replaced the original peach baskets, allowing the ball to fall through after a score. The number of players per team was eventually reduced from 9 to 5, and other changes, such as the addition of a backboard and the introduction of the free throw, gradually transformed the game into what we recognize today. James Naismith had no intention of creating a sport that would one day become a global sensation. In fact, Naismith wasn't particularly interested in promoting basketball. He saw it as a simple solution to a problem at the YMCA, a way to keep his students occupied during the winter months. Nevertheless, as basketball's popularity grew, so did Naismith's legacy. The sport spread rapidly throughout the United States and Canada, largely due to the YMCA's global presence. In 1936, basketball made its debut as an official Olympic sport at the Berlin Games, a milestone that cemented its place on the world stage. Naismith himself was invited to witness the event, a testament to the widespread impact of his invention. Basketball's appeal transcended borders and cultures, evolving into a sport that is now played and watched by millions worldwide. The introduction of professional leagues, such as the NBA, further catapulted the sport into mainstream popularity, producing iconic athletes like Michael Jordan, Kobe Bryant, and LeBron James, whose skills and personalities turned basketball into not just a sport, but a global cultural force. The game continues to evolve, with innovations like the three-point line, slam dunk contests, and even advancements in training and athletic performance pushing basketball to new heights. Though basketball has changed dramatically since its early days in that Springfield gym, Naismith's original vision of a game that emphasizes skill, teamwork, and strategy remains at the core of the sport. Today, Naismith is rightfully celebrated as one of the greatest pioneers in the history of sports. The Basketball Hall of Fame, located in Springfield, Massachusetts, bears his name and stands as a tribute to his legacy. While Naismith might not have imagined the magnitude of his creation, the sport's ability to bring people together and inspire passion across the globe is a testament to his genius. In conclusion, the invention of basketball was a stroke of brilliance from a man who simply wanted to keep his students active during the cold winter months. From a small gym in Springfield, the game grew to become a worldwide sensation with professional leagues, Olympic appearances, and a cultural impact that transcends sport. James Naismith's legacy lives on in every game of basketball played, from the pickup games in the neighborhood park to the NBA Finals, proving that sometimes the simplest ideas can have the most profound impact. Thank you for watching. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and comment below on your favorite basketball moment. Thank you for joining us on this journey through the history of simple things. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and stay tuned for more stories woven through the smallest details.